Hello everyone, this is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, finally, we are getting into the solution for solving the n plus 1 problem. And the first solution we introduce in this video is called the entity graph, which is uh, added in JPA 2.1. So whatever you choose in Hibernate or other implementation of the uh, JPA specification, you can all using this um, solution okay to solve so now let's get into the code i want to show you what kind of things we want to do and then we will know how to use an entity graph to solve the problem okay so here i have the basic structure set up already uh, we have a customer okay in the customer has a one-to-one -one relationship with address by default when we load the address it's gonna be eager right so because it's two one relationship and the customer also have a collection of uh, books which is a one-to-many relationship by default it's gonna be the lazy okay uh, this uh, lazy collection extra doesn't affect uh, today's demo okay uh, this video's demo okay and uh, for movie and a sales rep we just uh, ignore for this demo because it's gonna be too much okay and also in the book it's gonna have a unidirectional one-to-one -one relationship with the author okay and let's go to into the author author doesn't have uh, association with other entities so now what i want to do uh, I create a method called entity graph to test, okay, how entity graph solve the problem. And I created three customer for the customer one, two, three, all of them has address, okay. And customer one and two, all of the, uh, customer one and two both have uh, books. Customer one have uh, three books, okay, three books. And uh, for each of the book, it has author. Okay, and for customer two, it has uh, one book. Customer three doesn't have any book. And I persist them. And now, uh, after that, I close the entity manager. So make sure everything is detached and the entity manager is done. So after that, we uh, retrieve another entity manager. And in the transaction, what we did is uh, I select all the customer, then get a result uh, set, a list. I think no one should have a question on this step if you follow my videos. This is very basic. Now, th th here's what I'm to do. I will do a loop, okay? And then what I'm going to do is uh, system out, which is uh, to get the address that get a city, okay? And the next one is uh, we, I system, uh, no, I using I get, retrieve the collection of books. Oops. Yo, sorry, books equals c dot get a books. Okay, and now I loop this book. You can using a uh, stream lambda. Okay, I just want to make a, the regular for uh, for each. It's gonna be very clear for us because probably not everyone know uh, lambda. Right. And then here from book, we can get the author, okay? Name, and here author has a name, right? Author has a name. So this is what I'm going, this is what I did so far, which means I have application. I want to find all the customer, and I also need the information for the address, which is city for each customer. And I also want to get the, author information about every book this customer bought okay so this is the all the things i need for my application and now i write some statement here just to make sure where is the query is being executed by hibernate right so here is one and the two and then three and the four and uh, five and uh, six and uh, seven and eight okay eight. and uh, let me add some uh break here okay 
Okay, so now let's run. Okay, see how many queries it made. Uh, it might be a little bit slow because it's gonna create so many tables and it has uh, lots of relationship between among those uh, entities. Oh, it's very fast. <laughs> Not as slow as I expected. So now let's uh, go through one by one, okay? We start from one and see here and the one between one and two, okay? Between one and two, I just get a result set from this query. And here it say make a three. Okay, three queries. This is a one query and this is the end query. So here has n plus one problem. Okay, and what is this query? This query is when I fetch the customer. Okay, when I fetch the customer here. And uh, when here, uh, oh sorry, sorry. When I fetch customer, okay. He will fetch all the addresses for us because we have a customer and we have address. Okay, this is one to one relationship by default. It's gonna do the eager loading. So here you will see all the addresses are being fetched. Okay, three here we have three customer and it fetch three addresses. See here, three. This part is n plus one. And then let's move on. Okay, and between two and three. Okay, nothing because there's a for loop, right? Now, uh, between three and four, three and four, there's uh, no query. The reason for that is what? Because the address is already loaded in the cache when we reload the result. So here doesn't have uh, any queries. It just get the values from the cache. So between three and four, you don't have to see any uh, a query. Now, we go to between four and five when we retrieve books, no queries. But now between uh, five and six, five and six, five and six is what? We loop for each of the book, right? And which means it's a time we need to use the book. Then he make a query to a database to load the book. See here, where the book ID. This part is to load the book here. So uh, here we also have a end query here, which is to load each book. See here, this is a lazy loading, lazy loading. See here, uh, five and a six. See here, five and a six, another query. And uh, five and a six, we have another query here. This query because it, uh, for the, uh, the customer, customer three, it doesn't have any book. So you didn't see it get inside, but it actually made a query. So we have uh, one place, which is get address, have the end queries. And when we retrieve books, it have end queries. So here it has a two n plus one problems. And to get the author, it happens is uh, hibernate using a join. See here, use a join to get the author. And uh, if we don't, it might also cause a problem. It might also bring another n plus one in some cases. Okay. So this is a problem and how to use an entity graph to solve that. Okay. So entity graph is to create a relationship or create a hint to tell what kind of related object I ask Hibernate to execute in one query. So in this case, let me uh, do something here. Oh, not at this one. Okay, let's do another one. E, this one. And I want to go here so we can have a diagram. So in our application, okay, in our application, when we fetch the customer, okay, we also use the address. We also use the books. And in the books, we also use the author. So how about make all the object together uh, using one query to fetch all the information here. Entity graph is uh, come to solve the problem. So you just include or you just specify a, a graph to tell all the connected entities I want to hibernate to give me in one query. Okay, so here let's draw a diagram. 
Okay. Uh, first, we, what we did is we have to have a customer, right? Here, when we select a customer, okay? When we select a customer, we also want to have address. So we just include address address inside this graph and now here I also use the books so I just add a books here okay in the graph and also in the books I also need to use in author so we just add author in this graph and how to do that let me show you the code here uh, before we make the before oh sorry let's uh, let's skip this one okay here okay oh, sorry we create an entity graph yeah entity graph and uh, what's a node this is a root right this part is a root of our entity graph which is a customer which is what we select from okay so here we will give customer Okay, and we give entity graph equals em uh, em dot create entity graph, and here you give the class name, which is the root class name, which here is the customer dot class. Okay, and now I create an entity graph. Now I m must make sure this address object, right? Its entity is loaded within this entity graph. With this entity graph, then we have to using this one. E? Why is my cursor? Oh, here. Entity graph dot add attribute nodes. And uh, what's the value here? The value we have to take a look at our entity customer. The customer, what's the, va what's the variable name? It's gonna use in the address. So nodes is gonna use in the, uh, what's the thing? Association that variable name, okay, the field name, okay. So this one, and now, so now the problem is go to the books. Books is a property in our customer, right? See here, books is a property in our customer, but author is not an attribute in the customer. Instead, author is an attribute of the books. So in this case. We have to add a subgraph, which is entity graph dot add subgraph. Okay, and what's the value of the subgraph here? Still go to the customer. Yes, the this name. Okay, the book, the books, this collection, the field name books, and then you can continue in the subgraph to add attribute nodes, because the author. The author is inside a book. So here we're using this author. Okay. And this is how we do that. And next step is when JPA or Hibernate execute this from customer. What's the thing? Uh, execute the from customer this uh, select statement. We want them, we want hibernate to execute this select statement using this uh, entity graph how to do that if i remember correctly it was my cursor we're using query dot set hint and a string is a java x dot persistence dot what's the thing here i forgot sorry let me let me check a uh, fetch graph fetch graph and then you give this entity graph here this is a special key you have to use like this one okay java x right java x dot persistent dot fetch graph and you give entity graph and then when hibernate execute the from customer it's not just from customer it's gonna also have the left outer join to join the address and to join the collection of the books and also join this author 
So make sure all the objects here are gonna be loaded in the cache, okay? Then you don't need to, uh, when we retrieve the address or get the books, it, it won't make a separate query to the database. It will join all the things as a whole query and load everything in the cache. So let's, uh, let me show you, okay? See, this is the previous queries, right? Here we have uh, four queries and we also have extra queries when we load each of the book, okay? And now if I run, it gonna only has one query, which is here. Okay, and look good, that's done. And see here, no query, no query, no query, good, see here. Now you have only one query, and you can see the following, when I retrieve the address, when I retrieve the author name, okay, the books, everything, there's no query anymore, because all the things is loaded in the cache. And if you see this query, you will see a lot of left out join. See here, first one, left out join address, and the second one, left out join the books, okay? And then uh, left out join author, okay? So it load all the objects we specified inside this graph, entity graph, using one query. How to do that? Using left out join, okay? And also, when we're using entity graph, make sure you don't join more than one collection because if we join more than one collection, it's gonna cause, what's the problem? It's gonna cause a condition product problem, okay? And uh, uh, when we're using entity graph, if some object are not included include inside this entity graph, it will still has n plus one problem. Okay, With what I mean is here. Suppose this author has, uh, has, uh, has uh, a collection of address. Okay, after, after here, here, after I get the author, I want to fetch the collection of address. And uh, now in our entity graph, this is our boundary of entity graph, right? And uh, this uh, list of address is not in the entity graph. So when we loop, if we have multiple author, this one also to load this list of uh, address for each author, it's gonna also make a separate query, okay? So uh, that's it for the entity graph. Basically, you specify a graph of the connected objects you want Hibernate to execute and to uh, fetch in one query for you. And uh, you have the choice to turn it on or turn it off. If you don't want it, you just turn it off, okay? And it's dynamic. And also make sure when we write entity graph, don't join more than one collection, okay? Uh, that's it. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have still have other questions about entity graph, you can leave a comment. And if you like this video, please share, uh, like, and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.